so we're gonna try and do a little bit of live coding. Um, just sort of last minute because my flight got delayed. Um, and yeah, um, I have an outstanding PR into Apache Spark, um, and I want to update it um, so we can, we can all go ahead and do that together. So, uh, with that being said, I'm just going to bring up the comments stream in case anyone has any questions uh, on YouTube and Twitch. So just give me a second on that. Okay, and YouTube crashed on me, so give me a second, a second. Uh, and Okay, sorry, sorry for just the, the second delay getting started. Okay, looks like the live chat is up there. And uh, Twitch is up too. Okay, cool. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So, we're gonna go into whole word class inside of Spark. Let's go ahead and switch this into live mode, and then, oh, let's actually see Apache Spark distinct changes, yep. And once again, I still need to update my GitHub billing information, and we're gonna go take a look at this PR. Um, and we can see uh, the PR is to take advantage of non partitioner for distinct on RDDs to avoid a shuffle. Um, and the most recent comment was, Logically looks right, but would you mind if I ask for a simple benchmark? And I said, yeah, that sounds reasonable, but um, I just haven't had a chance to do it. It was 14 days ago, so I should really get to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Now, I could do this locally on my own computer, but that wouldn't give us a really good idea of the actual performance, because Shuffle tends to actually change more with um, network traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to one of my sort of regular clusters. We can go ahead and test out that. Um, it looks like it worked. Uh, and so, I'll SSH to my cluster. Uh, screen dash T, micro bench. Uh, let's see, Spark Shell is, uh, yep, is indeed running. So that's good. Um, and so, with that being said, to do the micro benchmark, let's look at the change. It's, it's a relatively simple change, which I think is exciting. Um, and so, um, so if known partitioner, then do this. Otherwise, do this. So to test it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my uh, my def over. Well, actually, actually, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, check out Spark here. So, uh, oh, sorry, I mean I have Spark checked out. I want to get on the right branch. So the branch is here. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Okay. Um, and I think it was inside of rdd.scala. Uh, def distinct. Okay. And so, uh, Do, do, do. So, okay, this is, is sort of general. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a group.scala. Uh, or just And so we're going to make a sort of concrete implementation of this uh, for the micro benchmark. Um, and this is just because I don't want to compile two different versions of Spark, and I, I also want people to be able to run it on their own without having to compile two different versions of Spark really quickly. So we'll just do it for ints to start with, because that seems easy. Um, okay, val well, input data is equal to sc.parallelize uh, 1.2. Uh, 1, 000, 10, 000, 100, 000, 1, is probably the J. Uh, and 
Now, when we do that part, this should result in a known partitioner because we're just parallelizing it. Um, so that should be fine. Now we're going to go ahead. And, uh, oh, okay. I need to look up how to Scala time of function. Um, Just grab this time function for now. Uh, let's count that for now. Okay, so it sounds like my flight is almost ready. Uh, map partitions. Uh, remove duplicates. Oh, we'll go ahead and we'll do a cache. Uh, input data dot count. Um, uh, okay, and so this. Um, uh, and one. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and run this really quickly in my Spark shell. And I hope it's going to work if it doesn't, because uh, it's a lot of time. So. Ah, new mutable hash set. Okay. Uh, mutable. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay. And one. Oh. Okay, it looks like it prints out the time. Uh, every time it's getting smaller, though, each time we run it, though. So that's maybe not great. Uh, or actually, I'm gonna... Let's go ahead and arrange that. We might need to just do it a few times first for it to actually give us something reasonable. Preserves partitioning. Uh, oops. Uh, okay. I don't actually do anything because I do call the counts. Is that going to be a block of type? Okay, yeah. So, uh, old one, new one, new one, old one, new one. Okay, cool. And so this gives us some really quick benchmarks. Um, we could increase this by a factor of 10, but uh, my flight board's momentarily, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave this comment here. 
Um, do, 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 do. I did a quick micro benchmark on this and got. Uh, okay, insert code. Or, well, here. Um, so that does look like old takes longer than new, which is more or less what we expected. And uh, yeah, okay. And so that that says like yeah, this is probably faster. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna run away because uh, I have a flight to catch. So thank you all for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your uh, week. Um, and I hope to see some of you in Vancouver for OSS and May. Have a lovely day.